Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In difficult times, how does one keep hope and not despair? How was the Prophet ﷺ able to keep faith despite the difficult times he ﷺ went through? He had trust in his Allah, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has promised him. He's built up his relationship, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has shown him what is the end. Now, we know Allah has promised very much the same thing for the believers. Now, the believers, if you don't have someone to remind you, you are also going to hear countless voices inside and outside telling you that everything is hopeless, everything is meaningless, everything is evil, and just enjoy yourself and die. You have that voice. Now there are competing voices inside of you. Shaitan is the one who is whispering to you. But Allah is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is speaking to us. Right now he's speaking to us. He's closer to us than our jugular vein. The Prophet is also speaking to us. The angels are also speaking to us. The Awliya Allah, they're also speaking to us. Now you have all of that voices there, but you are not turning your station of your heart to those voices. You're always turning your station to the heart of your heart to the shaitan, the whisperings, or to this dunya, or to your ego. Although those, there's so many other stations, you don't listen to that. It's not that, it's not that, it is there. But you don't know how to turn that, like a radio, that's to listen to those stations. Because you're so used to listening just to your ego. How are you going to learn now? You need a guide. He's going to say, do this, you will come, you will turn that station. Don't do this, and you'll be able to listen to this station too. And this is real. So that time, you are not going to have despair. Although difficulties are going to happen, yet you still see and you trust and you see the promise that is ahead of you. And you are together with those ones who are on the same way. You're not alone. That time very easy for you to come out from that hopelessness. Hopelessness is coming from shaitan. Hopelessness is coming from shaitan. But hopelessness, it is fake. Shaitan is feeling hopeless <coughs> But it is fake. He's putting it on himself because Allah is saying, I can still forgive you. Whatever that you've done from the time of Adam salam up till now, every evil that is committed to people who are listening to you, I can still forgive you. But shaitan makes himself to be hopeless because of his ego. Shaitan says, you want me to what? You want me to make sajda, to prostrate, to bow down in front of the grave of Adam salam? then you will forgive me? He says, forget about it. He says, I didn't bow down to him when he's alive. You want me to bow down to his bones, to his dust? He becomes more arrogant now. So now, that hopelessness is something that you put on yourself that you are denying and you're turning away from the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And there are things that you do, things that you say, things that you think that is going to make you to deny the mercy of Allah and there are things that you do and you say and you think that is going to open the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so be with those ones who are always opening don't be with those ones who are closing be with the righteous inshallah assalamu alaikum